Hello everyone, this is the Insane Game Freak here. So, as you can see here, this is my new Nintendo 3DS on top of my Wii U gamepad. Um, I just finished watching Juice's uh, video about the whole Boogies, uh, Boogie 2988's. Uh, it wasn't even really a thoughts on the NX, it's more so it was him giving a panel, somebody asking him his opinion on the NX, and him giving just recollections of... Uh, interactions he was doing which is why i don't believe uh they're they're much as fake as some people do but i kind of wanted to discuss juice's video particularly for one because there's a few things i want to clarify about because we've already had this discussion on the juices loose podcast but there's a particular few things that i wanted to not only clarify but also add on to because of things that i've been thinking about lately when i here, here's the thing, because I know me and Juice disagree heavily on this, the idea of a hybrid console. This is the point I'm trying to make about a hybrid console. I mean, obviously not. Me and him, we agree on the shared library, but he thinks there should be a console variant and a handheld variant. And it's not, and I know one of the reasons we gave during that podcast was because it would dig into the sales. But realistically, what I'm trying to say is that people... As much as the 3DS is cool, just like the DS is cool, and just like the, uh, uh, and just like the, uh, the Game Boy Advance line and shit was cool, the truth of the matter is, I don't know why there was a sheet of paper in there, or Wayne, I don't know what the fuck that was, anyways, uh, as cool as all that shit was, the point I'm trying to make is that I think we're done with this. And I think it's because, I think almost everybody can agree, usually consoles have better controls, this thing particularly. I'm serious, I'm so done with this shit after, after fucking, after all this shit I've done, I've dealt with. It's like, I, I, it's not like I hate the 3DS controls, when you're constantly playing a console with better controls, it just, you just, you, you're just sick of it all. Um, the point I'm trying to make is, is that we need to get rid of... The reason why I like the hint, the hybrid concept and why I would prefer it, actually this is pretty close to what I would want to be realistically with you. I mean think about it. Make take this off and just have the main screens be bigger and then shut this if I wanted to as a handheld variant and then fucking if I wanted to have it be my console and if I just wanted to play it on the console, just fucking pull out a pro controller or whatever the fuck and play it on TV. But here, here's the here's the point I'm trying to make in terms of the shared library and the other advantages that I like about it. The main thing for me is that it wouldn't be a situation in which the 3D, like I'll just use the 3DS and the Wii U as examples because with the NX we don't know what it looks like. The the point, the reasoning behind having a handheld variant nowadays doesn't make any sense because they can't make more money off of it. They're losing money with each iteration of their handheld. And that is a fucking problem. Um, oh, I wouldn't say they're losing. I think that, well, I don't know if the DS did as well as the Game Boy Advance. And I think the biggest problem is this. A lot of people don't fucking like playing handheld games. Most people who own Game Boy Advances or SPs or even fucking um, DSs and 3DSs own maybe like a handful of games. Think about it, There's 50 million Wii U's in most, most main uh, series uh Nintendo franchises on the 3DS only sell somewhere between maybe less than 10 million copies. Most of them sell less than 10 million copies. And there's a 50 million user install base. Why is that? Because the casual gamer ain't playing like most of these fucking games. The casual gamer is playing maybe like... I think a casual gamer's 3DS collection probably is somewhere between 5 and 10 games. If fucking that. And then like the Wii U, it was the same. It was pretty a similar situation. But the install, but the attach rate was higher for certain games. The point I the point I'm making is that you have a whole bunch of fucking people not playing any of these goddamn games. You have a whole bunch of people, and this was the issue with the DS and the Game Boy Advance Generation Two, where people literally only own like two or three franchises on their game. They own maybe a Mario Kart, a Pokemon game, obviously, and maybe something obscure like a Fire Emblem or a fucking. Uh, Ace Attorney, or maybe a licensed game like a SpongeBob, or 
what a Nicktoons Cartoon Network kind of game. And the reason why that was is, is simply because some people just don't like playing on handhelds. There, There's a lot of people you miss out on when you fucking, when you make a handheld variant and a console variant. Because then you will never get the people who don't play handhelds to play those games. And that's money. That is money that you lose out on because you don't get those people to, to invest in your product. But if you fuse both of your lines together, they get to play everything. They literally get the best combination of games you can get. And it's like I it's like, and as I said, we both agree on the Fuse library because it's like taking the 3DS library and the Wii U library and making it one. And it, but here's the thing is here's the thing here's the point because you because you mentioned how you know if we fuse the the having them be separate means that I don't have to pay for a device that doesn't that I'm not going to use primarily. Yeah, but see, here's the problem: they lose money by doing it that way because no one in the right mind would pick a handheld variant. Also, it just makes, to me, I just don't understand what that could possibly do. A console, a console that has handheld elements but isn't a handheld. Because then it just comes off as a half-assed version of, it, actually, that's exact. that's what the Wii U is. The Wii U is a console with handheld elements but doesn't take it all the way. Let's be real here, that's exactly what this thing is. Because you can't take it all, you can't take it anywhere with you without having the main console with you at some in some capacity. That's the biggest issue I have is that you can't make you essentially making another making a console variant and a handheld variant is essentially like making another Wii U because it'll have mobile aspects but it won't be like fully mobile. Why well, don't fuck? I don't want. I don't want that. I'm, this is one of the reasons why I'm I'm having such a huge push for 3DS compatibility for uh, the NX because. For the love of God, if I could, there are certain games on the 3DS that I would love to play with better controls. And we've been through this with Kid Icarus. I think Hyrule Legends gets the, gets a lot of shit for that. Um, there's a few other games. People people just want a better controller, a better console. It's not even like the 3DS is bad as a system. It's just bad in terms of I want I want I rather have a normal analog stick than this. Let's be real here. I'd rather have a bigger, wider array. If I could just throw my 3DS games on here, like I can do my 3D, my DS emulation already, I would be fucking set. Because that shit's set up in a way that allows me to do whatever the fuck I want to do. And that's the point. Having this 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 disjointed ass uh, console variant, handheld variant, is exactly what they're trying to get away from. They've been doing that for years, and while it's lucrative to an extent, you now can't transcend to the tablet generation. And let's be real here, they they want the tablet generation. They want the tablet and the phone generation. That's why we have Mario Run. That's why we have Pokemon Go. We they want that tablet generation. They ain't gonna get the tablet generation by putting out another one of these. I said I like my 3DS, but let's be real here. If I could play all I would play almost every I can't think of any game that I need to play this on a 3DS, that I would rather not play on my Wii U. It was the same issue that we had with all people complaining about certain franchises being better represented on the 3DS than on the Wii U. And it was like, why would I want to do that again? Actually, and then it's like, well, oh, well, you know, if they share a library, it's like, but why would I buy the inferior version? Why would I want two separate consoles to do something one console could do? If I could get a console that could play every game that I want to play on my 3DS on a console, I would never buy a 3DS again purely for that reason. Because it's like, and it's like how I said in my video before, or in the podcast before, most people don't play their handhelds outside anyway. Most people play their handhelds inside. And they're usually just playing it inside because they're, they're not the people who go out all the fucking time. That's the other thing about gamers that was always kind of weird. You had, a fe you had a feature that encouraged bringing your game with you, but you're appealing to a fan base of people who more than likely don't get out and play, don't get out that much. And that's not a stereotype, that's just kind of a fact. I mean, so if you're a gamer and you're playing video games and you're like a dedicated gamer, you're spending a lot of time in the house playing video games. You might have other hobbies, but my point is, you're not bringing your 3DS with you for a hobby, for those other hobbies. You're probably, the 3DS is probably staying at home. I don't know how many people still go out, and that's one of the reasons why, oh, well, if you put Pokemon, that's why I say if you put Pokemon Sun and Moon 
on the NX as a backwards compatible game. Shit. Shit. You, I mean, come on. If you notice how a lot of their games are already... Almost a lot of these games ain't 2D games anymore. That's the other thing. It ain't like... Ain't like we're playing with franchises. They're already throwing franchises on here that are playing in a 3D plane, which they weren't really doing until about this generation, maybe the DS generation. If you notice, these handhelds have become more and more like consoles as we've gone as we progress throughout generations. I mean, remember a hand the original Game Boy started out with a fucking D-pad and like two buttons, and then they started gaining another set of buttons. I think that was the, what was that, the DS line. The DS line added more buttons. We started getting shoulder buttons from the uh, Game Boy Advance line. And then with the 3DS line, we gained analog sticks. The, the, the handhelds have been slowly progressing into console controller status for a while now. So this shouldn't, so at this point, it's like, why make these separate? What advantage do you get by having two separate brands? I mean, Grant, the only the only advantage you get is that you can make more money off of the same franchise because you can put out a console variant and a handheld variant. That's the main accomplishment, but because your sales are dwindling anyway, it doesn't mean that much in the long run because you're still losing money. You're losing sales with each iteration of the game regardless of how good it is because people aren't buying these products as consistently as they were before. Making it one console with one inclusive library that has both the pros of the handheld and pros of the console, you don't lose in that situation. As I said, the controls for this have gotten so disgustingly close. The only thing this thing is missing is a, is a good second analog stick, or in my case, good analog sticks in general, but that's a different story. And as I said, Nintendo are the masters of making budget consoles and making consoles that are affordable and yet do exactly what you want them to do. But realistically, and on top of that, having a console that has a scalable ability means a lot. Because that also means, that doesn't mean that not only, that means that their games can be ported easily. Because think about it. If I have to make Breath of the Wild scalable where it runs on the, on just the, on the, on the handheld, uh, handheld detachable version versus the giant console version then that means my game has to be scalable from a fucking maybe a i don't know 720 to 900p image to a fucking 1080p image it has to be able to be scaled which allows which means the console already has to have the innate ability to be flexible so that means it's going to be easy to port for another thing that came in my mind is that a lot of people are like well i don't want to dock the stupid thing and then, because then I lose all TV play. Who said you had the fucking dock? You think about it. If this thing takes the cartridge, if the mobile ver, if the if the handheld, if the if the tablet only version of it, if the tablet part of it has a cartridge, why can't the dock have a cartridge? So if you want to still use off TV play for certain games, you can, but it's no longer forced upon you like it was with Wii U titles, where it was like you have to use it. Now, it's literally a choice. That's one of the other reasons why you have the whole click, click detachable controllers. Because if you want to use it, you can use it. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. The one thing gamers have been pushing on about in this generation is more options. Well, think about it. Nintendo already gives you the biggest chunk of options in terms of controllers and also the fact that we have a GameCube controller adapter that uses USB ports makes it real easy for people to make the assumption that hmm we could probably have GameCube em emulation GameCube virtual console next gen with the NX and on top of that we now already have a device to play those games on without losing the controllers that we love to play them on some of us more than others they're giving you, this is a fuck ton of options in one console. The Wii U was going in that direction, but just never really hit the mark it needed to. But now, the NX literally has the ability to be like, I'm going to take this bitch anywhere. And I mean anywhere, all over the motherfucking world. And not have to be tied down to the traditional sense of a console. People, Some people are just like, man, I don't want to lose my game because I got to go out. And we got to go travel to like North Carolina or some shit. I'm going to take my game with me. Now you can take your game with me. 
well, fuck, I don't want to use this control scheme. Well, here's a touch control scheme. Here's a button control scheme. Here's a motion control control scheme. That's the fucking point. This console, oh, man, I don't want I don't want to see this this grainy, you know, 720p or 480p image. And this one, well, this wasn't even in HD. This is the, like the, if you were playing off TV play, you weren't even playing in HD. You were playing in like 480 or some shit. That's 480 for Wii U games, and Wii U games look great on this motherfucker. It was ridiculous. But the point I'm still making is, look, hey man, I want some high quality graphics. I don't want to be playing on no fucking handheld. Man, I wonder if what Fire Emblem Awakening would look like, or Fire Emblem Face would look like if they got upscale and they got improved graphics and extra shaders and better textures. Click! I'm on the motherfucking dock now, and I'm playing it on my TV with upscaling graphics because obviously if it can be scaled between a, a, four, a 720p tablet to a fucking 1080p or 4k screen look you're gonna have to get some upscaling that's natural scaling going on because you hooked it up to a damn dock and with a cartridge based system that allows for more memory I'm not seeing a negative here. You've provided me literally with every option. The only thing you haven't given me is like PC options like setting all bloom effects or turning off textures and shit. And think about it, if the game is scalable, that's not something that would be hard to implement anyway. Because the game's already scaling itself between just being on the tablet versus being on the damn screen. So that, that's kind of my overarching point. I know he did, I know Juice, you didn't seem to understand where I was going, but that's where I'm going. You're getting more options in one device. I get to share my library. I get to play my games any way I want to. Because it's not like your force is like, well, why am I paying for a feature I'm never going to use? Uh, listen, you may not be using the mobile. You may not be taking the thing on the go. But that's an option you have if you want it to do that. It's not there because it's a necessary part of the console. It's not the selling point of the console. The selling point of the console is the option to do it, not the fact that it can. Well, actually, I guess that doesn't make sense the way I phrased it. The, the selling point, actually, no. The selling point is that I have the ability to do all these things. You may not need to use all of these features, but you now have the ability to use all of these features if you want to. And if we take in the rumors about having a share button, like going to Twitch or Facebook or Twitter, wherever the fuck, you have very, you have, I've increased the amount of things you can do. Because let's be real here, Juice. If your Wii U could play fucking 3DS games, you wouldn't have bought a 3DS. Because realistically, why would you buy another console for, for the ability to do something that, your, that your, your current console that you already own does? That's the point I'm making. It never was about um, that, that, you know, why well, don't take my games mobile? Well, that's the point. You don't have to. It's an option. It's like how the game is like, kind of like how the game pad gives you options and whether you want to do TV off TV play or play it on. It's like, it's not like, it's not like you're buying it for off TV play. It's just that that's a thing you can do. I guess it's kind of hard to explain it the way I want to, but the general idea is that you're paying for the ability to do these things regardless of which. Because if the NX is literally like a, just a variation on the Wii U, and I think that's the whole point, that this console is meant to give you as many options as you can in terms of how you want to play your games. It's kind of like, them, which might go into the new slogan they've been using recently, which is the, there's no play like it. Well, of course there's no play like it. There is no one console that has scalable games between can you can take it on the go and then come back and finish it on the high screen whenever the fuck you want to. You know, there isn't a console that does all that. There are consoles that have features that can do that. The PS4 and the Vita can do something somewhat similar to that. But it never hits the high notes that it needs to and it isn't optimized as it needs to. So you get your fucking new, you know, custom-made modern chipset and now you're future proofing your console and the third party can still stick around because hey i can throw a 3ds game in and look you don't have to jack your game's graphics up to 11 but you have the ability to do that if you want to which is why i still say 3ds can backwards compatibility where it just improves textures like well here's some added textures on characters models or the faces of the environment. It's like, oh, if we can get a cartridge of Xenoblade Chronicles X 
click that shit in there, you just add textures and shit. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's... I hope this makes more sense. So it wasn't, it wasn't just the simple fact that I don't want to use the mobile variation. Because the point is, is that that's just an option. You ain't got to use it. But it's going to jack up the price. No, because the price was already dictated by the tablet to begin with. Even if you don't use it. If that's the case, then the, the Wii U gamepad would be the same. It'd be the same issue as the Wii U gamepad. And I know for a fact you like this. So what's the difference between having this and then having the NX tablet controller that'll probably be more ergonomically friendly, more optimized, and have, I don't know in terms of better controls, that's all subjective, but you get what I'm saying, I hope. Uh, I hope this made sense. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been the Insane Game Freak. Life's a game. Play to win, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.